This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCB Way you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello, a solid-state Tesla coil is a type of Tesla coil that uses solid-state components such as transistor diodes and capacitors to generate high voltage, high frequency alternating current electricity. This type has several advantages over traditional Tesla coils which typically use spark gap switches. Solid state Tesla coils have high efficiency, the possibility of long term work, as well as compact dimensions. In fact, the compactness and small dimensions are the main characteristic of the characteristics of the Tesla coil which the construction and operation are described in this project. But despite the, but despite, despite the small size, the performance is surprisingly good. Another positive feature is its extremely simplicity so even less experienced self builders can make it. However, I would like to emphasize that generally making and adjusting any Tesla coil even through its look simple requires adequate knowledge and experience, especially at solid state Tesla coils where every small mistake and failed start means burnt components which are not cheap. The device consists of only a few components, primary coil, secondary coil, top load, specifically in the form of a cylinder, next power MOSFET, currently I use a BUZ325, but in the first prototype, prototype I used IRFP460 with the same, same results, big heatsink for the MOSFET, uh, diode 5 amperes, for example, or more, for example, U1540. Uh, next, fast diode for MOSFET protection, also U1540. One microfarad 250 volts MKP capacitor, potentiometer and resistor. Two Zener diodes 12 for 12 volts, fuse 5 amperes, and source of alternating voltage transformer 50 volts 3 amperes or more. The primary coil contains uh, 5 windings of 2.5 mm copper wire on a plastic body with a diameter of 5 cm and is, it is desirable to make a layout on each winding to make it easier to adjust the device later. The secondary coil is wound on a plastic body with a diameter of 4 cm and contains 520 turns of lacquered copper wire with a diameter of 0.2 mm. The height of the secondary is 12 cm. The calculated resonant frequency of this secondary coil together with the top, top load is about 1.7 MHz. For a top load I use a small aluminum box. Uh, the power MOSFET is specifically in BUZ325, but during testing I successfully used an IRFP460 which is also significantly more powerful. For, for voltage up to 60 volt. IRFP, IRFP 260 can be also used. Of course the MOSFET should be mounted on a massive aluminum heat, heat sink. The rectifying di diode uh, should be designed for a current of 5 amperes or more. In this case I use a fast diode of type U1540. A fuse is mandatory because relatively high voltage and currents are involved. It is very practical to use a cheap automatic fuse as in this particular case. For the sake of constant monitoring of the operation of the circuit as well as the consumption, it is desirable to 
place a current clamp at the input. The transformer that I use is taken off out of an old deflective audio amplifier. Now a few words about the first turn on and testing of the device. The best option is to use Variac if we have it. The Variac is actually an auto transformer where we can continuously change the voltage from zero to the maximum value. First we turn on the, uh, the transformer at a lower, lower voltage so that the output uh, of this transformer is about 15 volts. Next, with the fluorescent lamp close to the secondary, we slowly turn the potentiometer to the right. If everything is well connected, at some point the lamp should be light up, uh, which is a sign that the circuit has started to oscillate and generate a high voltage at the output. If this does not happen, we need to reverse the polarities of the primary and, the, and repeat the same procedure. Now if you connect the lamp again and it doesn't light up, the problem is somewhere in the connection of the components or some def deflective component which is usually the MOSFET. Uh, if we do not have a Variac Auto Transformer, it is best to start the test with a transformer with an output voltage of about 15 to 12 volts. When we slow the problem, well, we can start increasing the voltage continuously while keeping an eye on the current clamp. Now I will connect this Arduino Staccato controller, the construction of which I described in one of my previous videos.
current consumption is significantly lower, about uh, 0.6 amperes, and in this case the Tesla coil can run for hours without heating up the MOSFET. I managed to reduce the current even further by connecting a simple ACR voltage regulator uh, to the variac input. I will explain how this trick works on a later occasion. This thing is cold. And finally a short conclusion, you can make this miniature and simple Tesla coil in less than a day along with winding the secondary coil which consists only of 500 turns. In addition the final result is surprisingly good with a generative spark with a length of 10 cm and more and relatively low consumption especially when using the Staccato controller. And uh, safety note, please do not attempt to recreate the experiment show in this video unless you are familiar with high voltage safety techniques. Direct current even above 60 volts may be lethal even when the AC supply voltage has been disconnected due to the storage capacity, uh, due to the storage energy in the capacitors. I have no responsibility on any hazards caused by this circuit. Be very careful. This is a humble request. <laughs>